And all of this is great, but if we don't keep the security deployment up to date, we're going to miss out on every fix or new cybersecurity or privacy feature that, that comes with virtually every new product release. So as we repeated a couple of times now, maintenance is a critical step in any risk mitigation plan, if not the most important. So to clear things up about the recent additions of password and firmware management services, they are all done from the same central location, which make things much easier. Mathieu quickly showed it. It's the hardware inventory report. Um, now let's see how it helps maintain maximum security for every device. As we mentioned a few times, we're working with an open architecture software here. So we have lots of manufacturers and camera models to manage, right? So we can go in this report and see where we have weak passwords or firmware that is out of date. We'll have some that are critical, so we need to update them right away. So we can focus on what's important, but also we can, with this tool, centralize everything, right? We can centralize the maintenance, we can schedule our firmware updates, and we have a clear vision on our posture for all of our devices at once. So we see how, with our dynamic charts here, uh, we see which firmware is out of date or which cameras, and then we can even change the passwords right here from the inventory report. So we don't even need to go through every single camera page. We can click update password and then refresh. So this is an automatic um, password selection for you. It will just generate a very complex password. And then again, we can sort through the very weak or the very strong passwords that we have. And as Mathieu mentioned earlier, we can do it per device. And also in the same tab that he showed earlier, we have the firmware version. So we can upgrade the firmware per camera. We see the current version and the proposed version. So there's just many ways to see that, but this hardware inventory report with the firmware vault, the password management are two essential features when you're looking at you know, hundreds, sometimes thousands of cameras. And then in the end, we have this dashboard here that will keep everything in check. And we can add those widgets that we just saw to the dashboard. So in real time, we will see uh, the status of everything in the system, but also we'll see what's happening with our maintenance, right? Do we have a firmware that is out of date compared with last week? So this will update itself. And then the Genetec update service is kind of everything that's uh, gonna enable this. It's, it's a, the main service that will keep track. It will schedule and streamline all of your updates in the system. So we're talking about every single software update in the deployment. So here, for example, from the top uh, menu here, we can go to our updates. We can see that updates are available. And then we have lots here, right? But it, they're all categorized. So we have the security center versions so we can see which ones need updated in all of our machines. So we keep track of our servers and which stations. And then we have the machines tab so we, we can see which ones are connected. And then more advanced settings here with some download and internet proxy. So this is really important to keep track, not only of Security Center, but maybe our SDK, uh, clearance software we just saw, even the control panel, the system availability monitor. So just making sure that everything's up to date and, and, uh, and running. And we can even go down to Microsoft Windows, where we will see a recommended update. And then, uh, one last thing for maintenance is that we need to keep track of who has access to what, right? We saw all the privileges that can be changed in Security Center uh, because workers having access to things outside of their scope of work is a real issue. It's, it's a great risk for many businesses. Inadequate privilege has been at the source of many attacks. For example, last year, uh, a, ma a major Canadian bank was has uh, had all of their information leaked 
from from their members because of that because that person had access to too much in the system and just leaked all this information so if somebody's job changed or if you changed your policies it's extremely important to go back and keep track of who has access to what in the system so this privileged troubleshooter here will help examine the rights of entities in the system in just a more detailed and pinpointed way so instead of going through long lists of permissions for a given group you can look at uh, who has access to any given entity but also who's allowed to perform uh, specific act actions in the system so that really helps you uh, stay on top of like for example temporary privileges that have become permanent without us knowing because we forgot about it right so we really need to go back and reduce the exposure and then finally i showed you a dashboard for health monitoring this one here is focused on camera maintenance so all the camera information uh, the, the, the status of the cameras, whether they're secured or not, but also some health statistics, uh, the password and firmware status, the camera status, so online versus offline, uh, the camera integrity monitor, and the security score widget. So all of this can be centralized and customized just because we have so much data coming in, right, for maintenance. So it's much better to centralize that so we make better use of that data. So here we can see that we can scroll through every widget and we can jump into our checklist and make sure that we did the right things.